So I was just picking up a few things from the local shop and I was like, why are all the Lego Star Wars magazines gone? Usually there's a whole load of them. And then I realised it's because this episode, I mean this, <laughs> this issue I should say, has got a free limited edition TIE Pilot, black TIE Pilot with it. And I was like, oh wow, I'm having that then. So I found one, there was one left, and I managed to get it. And I uh, thought, oh yes, it's uh, yeah issue number 114. And it comes with a really cool minifigure. Really happy with this, so that's going to uh, start living in the city. <laughs> a new resident. <laughs> Hope he doesn't cause too much trouble. We've already got the joke of living in there. Now we're going to have a tie pilot. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool actually. I really like the uh, Star Wars, and I like I like the way uh, all the sets. The Lego sets are so cool. I had quite a lot of uh, Lego Star Wars sets and I'm really gutted. No, I, was, I sold quite a lot of them. Well, I sold all of them, in fact. I used to have, uh, I used to have Vader. Oh well. I'll just have to start collecting it all back again. <laughs> and uh, since I've watched all the, uh, the TV shows, it's good to see the... Uh, characters and the ships and everything in in Lego form. Good old Yoda. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the TIE Fighter. And then he's got his own little story. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a convoy of freighters is passing through the Rogadai's system. However, before they can leave, a small squad of TIE Fighters is heading out to intercept them. <laughs> anyway, I won't spoil the magazine for you. It's, uh, it's looking good. Hmm, that's, looks like you get that next week. Not quite as good, I don't think. Not as good as this minifigure. Unless you get another figure as well, I'm not sure. But anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm going to open the minifigure and have a look. Here it is. I poured it out onto the magazine. <laughs> I wonder if I can do this with one hand. Probably can't, actually. I'll just quickly build it, but I actually had this before. I remember having it with a, a little ship. Um, I think it came with like a... Uh, came in like a world or something. There was like a world with a little ship in it and I think this figure came with it. I remember something like that anyway. Anyway, let's build this, see how cool it looks. Oh yes, it looks pretty awesome. I'm loving it actually. It looks better than the picture, doesn't it? The actual minifigure. It looks better. It looks really, really good. I'm glad I picked this up. I wonder what's different about it being a limited edition version. I can't remember if the one I had before had those blue bits on it. Hmm. Not sure. Starting to make me want to get the uh, the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Because then I can have more of the uh, Star Wars minifigures and stuff in the city. I could have like a little Star Wars area. Hmm, that's given me a few ideas. Anyway, here we have the Lego TIE Fire that you get with the uh, issue 114. Uh, seems to uh, be selling out quick. I was a bit shocked <laughs> that there was only one magazine and it was actually behind the uh, Technique magazines. I just saw it. Uh, so someone might have hidden it there because maybe they were going to buy it later or something. But I managed to get it. So I'm pretty happy with this. And yeah, it's making me want to get the Star Wars Advent Calendar. Hmm. To think about that. So I was zooming and arming about which one to get. But this is sort of swaying me that way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you at another one. Bye for now.